Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Hello, good evening. hello. 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 Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Yes, we can. Yes. Thank you. All right. Nice. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for the class? Yes. Yes, good. What day is today? Uh huh. What's the day today? Today is Wednesday, um, seven December. Seven. December 7th. That's right. That's correct. Okay. Today is Wednesday, December 7th of mm -hmm. 20... 2022. 2022. Exactly. Okay. Good. Did you practice? Did you study the verse in past? The irregular verse in past? No, <laughs> I didn't study the verse in past. Why not? You need to study the verse in past. It would be nice if you study the verse in past. Okay. I forget, sorry. Uh, uh huh. Anybody else? Did anybody study the verse in past? No, nobody. Really? <laughs> okay. No. All right. Ven a escribir dos oraciones de algo que no hicieron este día, que hubieran querido hacer. I didn't. Esa es el auxiliar para negativo. En pasado, obviamente. Right? Vamos a escribir uh, algo que yo no hice fue I didn't go to church. Yo hubiera querido ir a la iglesia, pero no pude ir. So, esa sería una oración en pasado, algo que no hice. I didn't go to church. El auxiliar para el pasado va a ser did not. Y luego el verbo lo ponen normal, porque ya en el negativo ya no necesitan recordar la forma pasada del verbo. Simplemente ponen el auxiliar didn't y el verbo lo ponen normal. Dos cosas que hubieran querido hacer que no hicieron este día. I didn't drink coffee. I didn't play basketball. <laughs> I didn't study the verse in past. Okay. I didn't go shopping. I didn't cook dinner. Uh -huh. I didn't do homework. <laughs> I didn't eat pizza. Uh -huh. I didn't study English. That's great. Uh -huh. I didn't drink lemonade. I didn't finish my work. I didn't finish. De una vez el verbo, después del didn't. No necesitamos el tú. Yes? I didn't finish my work. I didn't complete my assignments. I didn't complete my tasks. I didn't listen to music. I didn't visit my mom. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else? Sentences in past, but in negative. Negative sentences, actually, in past. Mm -hmm. I didn't... Practice English. Uh -huh. 
I didn't play soccer. I didn't watch a movie. Ajá. ¿Qué más? Algo que no hicieron, que dejaron de hacer este día, que no hicieron, que les hubiese gustado haber hecho. I didn't eat my dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> That's sad. Uh -huh. I didn't drink coffee in the afternoon because I was so busy. Today was so difficult. Uh -huh. I didn't talk to my friend. I didn't send a message to my mom. I didn't read my book. I didn't call my mom. Yes. Okay. Those are the sentences in negative. In past, of course, negative sentences in past. I didn't go to the concert. <laughs> of the iracundos. Really, they had a concert. So it's just an example. Uh -huh. I didn't eat my dessert after lunch. Actually, I didn't eat lunch at 12. I had lunch at 2.30, almost 3. Because it was so busy. Uh huh. What else? I didn't drink enough water. I didn't run in the morning. I didn't do exercise. Bah. Qué bien por los que ya lo pusieron sus ejemplos. Very good. Excellent. Congratulations. Así debe ser. Participation. I didn't participate in class, como que no haya estado. <laughs> so you just connect and don't participate, it doesn't make any sense, all right? Okay. Ahora díganme. ¿Qué se les hace más fácil? ¿Escribir oraciones afirmativas en pasado o oraciones negativas? Uh -huh. Affirmative or negative sentences? If negative that's. sentences. Negative. Exactly, porque una vez usted usa el auxiliar, ya no necesita poner el verbo en pasado. No puede decir, I didn't went. Tiene que decir, I didn't go. I didn't go to the movies. Yes? So, in negative sentences, it's easy because once you remember the auxiliary, did, did not, didn't, and then the verb goes in base form. Yes. Bueno, con esta pequeña intro, I didn't pray in the morning. Oh my God. Okay. Vamos a pasar el attendance. Attendance. Vemos con quién iniciamos. Valmore is always the first one. Today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday the 7th. Hmm. Tengo la Leve impresión que este día es un día festivo en algún lugar. <ríe> Balmore. No present. Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. César. No present. Uy, César. Claudia. No present. Absent. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin, absent. Emerson? Absent. Eric? Imer? Present. Thank you. Jacobo? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn? Jorge? Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. I'm here, Carla Elisa. All right, thank you. Julio? Present. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth, thank you. Lily? Present. Present. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going to put it Mario? Sorry, sorry. All right. Okay. Mario, Mario. Present, Miss. Thank you, Meli. Melissa. Ya no volvió Meli. Gone, gone with the wind. Allá, allá escrito en el chat que está de oyente, Meli. Oh, really? 
Okay. <ríe> All right, Meli. Ya no supimos cómo siguió. Si se recuperó. Escríbanos ahí, cuéntenos. How is it going? Thank you, Sergio. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Present. All right. Thank you very much. Teacher, I'm here. Hey, what up? <laughs> it's true, Daniel. Okay. So, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Hello? Teacher. Hello? Tell me. Cesar, what happened? I'm driving. I'm driving, okay. Yes. Be careful. Thank you. All right, you're driving home. Are you driving home? Yeah, I like the, the signal is bad. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. It's all right. Be careful. Okay. Mother, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? How was your day? My day was very fine. My day was fine, was excellent, was great, was interesting, was exciting. Exactly. Right, aquí les voy a poner la question. How was your day? That's the question. Y ustedes van a responder. Si no lo pueden hacer de forma escrita porque no pueden colaborar en esta pizarra, pueden hacerlo de forma verbal on the microphone. My day was, ajá, como ya alguien nos dijo, my day was very fine. My day was exciting. Vamos a poner esto. An example. My day was great. Awesome. Y así pueden seguir más respuestas. My day was good. My day was busy. My day was horrible. My day was tiring. My day was relaxing. Uh -huh. Para que usemos el was. How was your day? Yes. Si ¿Sí pueden escribir en esa pizarra. Can you do it? Can you? Uh -huh. I can't. You can't. You are on the phone. Yes. Mm, that's why. Okay. You know the mass? The others? The rest? Intenten. Ahí Ay, está. huevo. Okay. <laughs> Ahí está Sergio. Ajá, my day I was can, productive. I can't do great. You can't the, either. Oh, no, why? But my day was very stressful. Too much work. Yes. All right. I have too much work. I have too much work. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yeah, my day was really busy too. Hmm. I did like thousands of activities. You have no idea. Okay. Somebody else? Another person? My, my, my day my was... Day, it was very... <laughs> Eso. Hey, Así me gusta que se atropellen por participar. <laughs> Jorge, no me atropella, por favor. No, no, no. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Esta violencia. Continue, continue. Okay. Today, my day is was very 
interesting. My day was very Be interesting. Because uh -huh. they calculate the payroll and the Christmas bonus. Really? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> It's the <a> good news. <laughs> yes. Your colleagues, your co-workers are going to be very happy. Yeah, my co-workers never knows the information, but no. for me, it's a great day. <laughs> That's my good. Day. Yes. Okay. Good. My day was uh, very, very strong. Uh, Stressful. Stressful and much work. Too mm. much work. work. Yes. yes. And I was very tired. <laughs> yes. In, in, como, so, ni tiempo del café. Quedó, no, there no was no time, time for coffee. That's why, you know, you can get a cup of coffee uh, in flat. <laughs> Share. Compart. Share. Share and cheers. <laughs> okay. Yes. I had I had this um custom of having a little snack at 3 or 3.30, but today, there was no time. Okay, my day was very heavy, somebody says. Okay. All right. Nobody had an easy day. Okay, good. Well, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, let's get started with the presentation we have for today's class. As I mentioned, this is our class number 12, December the 7th in 2022. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, the platform, remember, it's important to complete the platform exercises, okay? And the midterm, para aquellos que no lo habían hecho, remember, keep it in mind. Para el 16 ya debemos haber terminado. Ideally. <laughs> In your dreams. No, for sure. We have to finish. All right. Remember the instructions for participating in the breakout rooms. Breakout rooms, no es que cada rato tengo un break, vea. Es para participar, o sea. <laughs> to participate with a small group, to have the opportunity to participate more, to practice more. Okay. And of course, okay, to understand customer's opinion, a product or service that they receive, that's basically, okay. Veamos, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de la structure que mayor énfasis le dimos ayer. No significa que el verb to be es el único verbo que se puede usar en pasado. No estoy diciendo eso. Lo que estoy diciendo es que es el que requiere un poquito de más atención porque es un verbo particular, digamos, que no es como los demás verbos. Es un verbo que se auxilia solo, que no necesita un auxiliary, que tiene dos conjugaciones, que ¿okay? dependiendo del sujeto. Entonces necesita como dedicarle un poquito de atención, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos la forma afirmativa. Negative and interrogative. You can say affirmative, negative, and question form. Okay? So, I, was, you, were. She, he, it, was, you, we, they, were. The same in negative. I wasn't, you weren't. She wasn't, he wasn't, it wasn't. You weren't, we weren't, they weren't. And interrogative was I, were you, was she, was he, was it, were you, were we, were they, right? For the question. You say, were you here yesterday? Were you in class yesterday? Yes. Was your father a pilot? Was she, was your mother a secretary? No sé, cualquier cosa que quieran preguntar, ¿verdad? Que si fue o si era. Ok. Pero fue de ser, no fue de ir, right? That's another thing. All right. So, this is just a review. So, es como para repasar un poquito. Y luego tenemos algunos exercises. Aquí, very, very simple. Que lo vamos a hacer juntos para que... Vean que 
I am very flexible. Veamos primero los exercises que están en affirmative. He was. Okay, he was. Wait a second. He was very sad. Christina? Was. Was. Was excited. Paul and Mark? Were. Were, were. were surprised. <clears throat> you? Were. were. Relaxed. relaxed. You were relaxed. relaxed. Samantha and Chris? Were. Were. Were anxious about their job interviews. Peter? Was, was nervous. Was nervous. Violet and Carla? We're, We're tired. tired. We're tired. Mom? Was, was, sick. was sick. sick. Lucy and Terry? We're, We're frightened. We're frightened. And I? I was relaxed. Was relaxed. I was relaxed. Okay. It was very sad. Christina was excited. Paul and Mark were surprised. You were relaxed. Samantha and Chris were anxious about their job's interview. Peter was nervous. Violeta and Carla were tired. Mom was sick. Lucy and Terry were frightened. And I was relaxed. ¿Hay alguna palabra que desconozcan? Any word? Anxious. Right. Anxious es ansioso. Cuando se tiene una entrevista de trabajo se pone ansioso, que ella quiere ver cómo le salió, cómo le, cómo, qué es lo que le van a preguntar ya, anxious. Y frightened es como muy asustado, entonces un nivel de scare, pero así, aterrorizado, ajá, exacto. That's frightened. Anything else? No? No. Bye. Entonces, la forma negativa y la forma de question lo van a hacer con algún compañero. ¿Yes? ¿Ready? Yes. Ok, yes. So just for practice. Veamos. Let's make mm, these groups. Here we go. Yo. Va, chivo. Por la voz favorita. Vaya, vaya. Ahí está, compañero. Thank you. Okay. First, Selma wasn't. Yes or no? Veamos, Selma. Yeah, wasn't. Wasn't, okay. Very tight. I think. Thelma. What? What? Teco. What's in? Very tired. My dot. Mira, compañeros, ahí está 
los ejercicios para que los vayamos desarrollando. Delma. Yes. Number six. Peter Watson. Ner no sé cómo se pronuncia. Nervos. 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 During the test. Yo creo que cualquiera. <laughs> Siete. <laughs> Seven. Violet and Carla weren't excited. Okay. Eight. The cat wasn't sick at all. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Permítame, vamos a ver. Weren't. Entonces aquí sería Diana and Bob weren't ok. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the thing you weren't surprised so surprised at me. Okay. Vamos Bien. a hacer la la. Esto sería la interrogativa. ¿verdad? Question. Mm -hmm. Question. The interrogative. Okay. Comienza. Okay. Sí. Was she, was she very scary? Scary. Uh -huh. Scary, creo. Scary. Uh -huh. okay. Siga, sí, Carlos. Number two sería she was. Entonces sería was Pat Ansius. Ansius. Um, the three were, three, uh, were Pat and Chris happy? Yeah. Okay. Love number four. Uh, weren't they sad about losing? Yes, it's were. Mm -hmm. Number five, Berta. Yes. yes. Was I unhappy? Mm -hmm. Was I unhappy? Unhappy. Yeah, A ver, number six. Um, was Maggie nervous during during the test? Number seven. Aquí sería, why, uh, was my dad excited? Or where, where the... And you were surprised. What? Weren't surprised. Yeah. Okay. Y yeah, la otra sería completa la interrogación. Interrogativo. Was she very uh, scared? Was she very scared? Sí. Sí. Yes. Ah. ah. Pero a ver. ¿Qué se me? ¿Qué lo tenía que poner? ¿Qué queda la otra aquí? Aquí. Pablo. Was. 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 Aquí Pap and Chris happy. Y sería Where. 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 Sí. Where, where, what, and Chris happy.
Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Eh, bien, bien, bien. About love me. Okay. Va que esa de un happy es no está feliz. Es como negativo. Pienso que sí. I think yes. Un Mary. Happy. Mary no. Ajá. Yo entonces estaba infeliz. <ríe> Pero me pregunta estaba en infeliz wow. bien raro. Pasar es un happy. I'm happy. Ok. Was my happy? Eh, uh, was Maggie nervous, nervous during the test? Seven. Was was my dad excited? Yo digo que sí. It was my dad. Next. Después was was. Ahorita lo nuestro es cómo se llama. Um... Eh, Miss Blanca. Aquí sería. Tell me. I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. The number eight in the interrogative form. Yes. Is missing the 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 article. The, article. the cut. Was is, is the correct. cut sick was, at all? Was the cut. Yes, was, definitely. Was the okay. cut. Or oh, was your yeah. cut? Okay, we were oh, right, okay. classmates. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Blanca. No problem. ¿Y solo ahí sería o, o en las otras también les hace No, no, falta? no. Solo, solo esa es la que habíamos Thank visto you. ahorita. Bueno. Yo solo sabía de, de en pasado el, el Won, Won creo que es el ganar en pasado, ganó. El otro de comer. Mm, el de comer, comer no me lo podía muy bien. Es ir en presente. En... All right, finish. Yes. Finish. Good. Okay, actually it was just a negative and the uh, interrogative, right? Because we had done the affirmative before. So, Telma, what would be the negative? What? Wasn't very tired. My dog wasn't excited. Paul wasn't scared. I weren't happy. I weren't. Is that correct? I said I wasn't happy. I wasn't sad about losing. <laughs> Yes. Sam and Chris were in. Were in happy. We're in. Peter wasn't. What? Peter wasn't nervous during the test. Violet and Carla 
were, were, were excited. The cat was, was walking. wasn't sick at all. Diana and Bob weren't, weren't okay. okay. Weren't okay. You were surprised at me. You weren't, you weren't surprised at me. Okay, in the interrogative, number one. Was, was she, she very, very scared? Two. Was Pat anxious? Was anxious? Three. Were, were Pat and Chris were, happy? Were and Chris were, happy? Four. Weren't they sad about losing? Were they, yes, were they sad they, they, about losing? Yes, they were in Spain. Ah. <laughs> Number was five. I unhappy. Was I was unhappy? unhappy. Mm -hmm. Six. What made Maggie nervous? Were Maggie or was Maggie nervous? Think. What was Maggie nervous Maggie. during the test? Maggie's a girl, a woman. Okay, seven. Was my dad? Was my dad excited? Eight. Was cat sick at all? Was cat or the cat or was? My cat, or was your cat sick at all? Right? Nine. Were Lydia and Tina okay? Were Lydia and Tina okay? And ten. Were you surprised at me? Were you surprised at me? That's right. Okay, questions? No questions. Sick at all, teacher. Es que como sick at all es como una expresión. Por ejemplo, en la forma negativa es el, el gato no estaba enfermo para nada. Como decir para nada. Uh -huh. O está el, el gato enfermo acaso. O Yo sí, creí que era uh -huh. el gato se enferma por todo. <risa> Da la impresión que al traducirlo sería así, pero no es para nada. Generalmente no. se usa en, en negativo. Como se dice, I can't cook at all. Puedo cocinar para nada. Yes? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't like. Uh, que podría ser hamburgers at all. De ninguna, right? Now, any other question? No? No more questions? All right, perfect. Perfect. Okay, we have a conversation. Woo! Finally, a conversation. Take turns practicing the following conversation between Luz and Eva. Luz says, can you tell me more about your experience? And Eva, it wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. And he didn't even he didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo or Romeo. And he. Oh my God, wait a second. Let me have it. And he explained everything to me. Va, lo voy a volver a leer. Traten de ir siguiendo la lectura. Y luego lo vamos a practicar, ¿ok? Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? 
No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Questions or oh, alguna palabra que consideren difícil o que no sepan? Kind in this case. Kind. In este caso, kind is amable. He was. He oh. wasn't kind. Or he was very kind. Yes. O cuando alguien le hace un favor, se dice, oh, thank you so very much. You are so kind. Oh, very kind of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank what, you, teacher. Yes. Repeat, please. No more. No. Ah, okay. Perfect. Ok, vamos a escuchar a Lailin, que es Luz, y a Jacobo, que sería Iva. ¿Estás listo? Fue pues porque hablé primero. ¿no? Okay. no, es porque necesito que haya un buen modeling. Vaya, ¿estás listo? Yes. One, two, three, go. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent did, didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? Uh, no, I don't. Actually, in team he didn't say his name he wasn't kind my apologies for that and what about our product so you see it yes i could it wasn't so easy but i call it another engine again he was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Everything. 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 Yes. How do you say? You, bueno, así como rápido. Eh, could you use it? Esa última parte. Could you use it? Could you use it? Uh, Could you use it? Could you use it? Lo puedo usar? Okay. Uh -huh. Anything else? Alguien más? Tiene alguna otra question? No? I no. Will. Okay, I have very kind neighbors. <laughs> Tira las puertas solo porque they have visits. No tiene que aguantar aquí. Could you okay. repeat the question, please? Um, no, I would like to participate. To participate. Yes, Cesar and Jorge. Ready? Ok. okay. Yes. Espérame, voy a apagar mi micrófono, pero lo voy a estar escuchando because of my irresponsible neighbors. One, two, three, go. Comienzo. Uh, can you okay. tell me, me more about your experience? Oh, it wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give, give me an information number. He didn't even send, send a receipt for what about. Do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I, I think that he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that and, and that about our clothes. Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. 
but uh, I called another agent again. Mm, he was so considerate, his name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. By de esta conversation, tienen una actividad. Es lo mismo de su manual, ¿ok? It's the same, the same exercise on your manual. Because once you read the conversation, write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't happen. By la instrucción, ya digerida, dice, después de haber leído, practicado y descifrado la conversation, ustedes van a escribir en este cuadro las, activi las actividades que sí sucedieron y las actividades que no sucedieron. O sea, en pocas palabras, las oraciones que tienen en la conversación que están en affirmative son las que sí sucedieron, did. Y las que están en negative son las que no sucedieron, right? So, he didn't send me a receipt, or he didn't send me the confirmation. Eso es lo que no sucedió. Entonces, affirmative, what happened? And negative, what didn't happen? ¿Está claro? Is it clear? Obviamente, en base a la conversation, ¿verdad? No es que ustedes la van a inventar. O que van a decir, ah, ¿qué es lo que hice? ¿Qué es lo que no hice en este día? No, ahora ya no estamos hablando de su día, estamos hablando de la conversation. All right. In the same groups, you can work in the same groups. Hello. Hello. Por ejemplo, todas las que son de luz son, son las por la fashion. ¿Cómo? Todas las que habla de luz son question. Yes. Okay. okay. Si quieren, resolvemos primero el de el didn't y luego el did, con lo que no pasó y después de lo que sí pasó. Ok. Ok. Tratemos de ver qué nos sale ahí. A ver. La primera podría ser the, the agent didn't give, give me information number. Confirmation number. Confirmation number. 
Nice golf eighteen. Agent. Pero eso sí pasó. Porque está confirmando un número. Oh, me equivoco. Uh, es que dice que no le confirmó, como no le dio el número no de confirmación. Eso fue lo que no pasó, creo. Uh -huh. Sería en, en, en la entidad. Entidad. And then confirmation. Okay. Next. El otro dice he didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. He didn't even kiss. Como que él nunca le envió un recibo de lo que había comprado, creo. Ajá. Kevin. Yo pensé que... Yo, no, no, olviden. <risa> Entonces sería acabar solo Evan. Eh, he didn't even send. A receipt. Receipt. Receipt for what's about. Mm -hmm. Incluso... Está hablando que la gente no había enviado el recibo Incluso... que compró de lo que compró. Ah, sí. El agente no dio su nombre. Um, he didn't. He didn't say his name. Me voy temprano por tu. He. The agent didn't say his name. Did the I think he didn't say his name. Ese agarremos. Bye. He didn't say his name. Y agarramos como, <coughs> como el positivo. He was king. Él no fue amable, creo que va. Ese voy a agarrar como did. No sé si está bueno. ¿Cuál va a agarrar? En la siguiente, después del punto. He was king. He was king. He was kind. He was kind. Pero también tiene negativa. Porque dice... Él no fue amable. Ajá, él no fue amable. Él dice, no Ay. recuerda los nombres casi. Pero más o menos. El primero es que no recuerda el nombre. Dice. Ajá. En realidad no creo que dijo su nombre. Y después dice, él no fue amable. Entonces yo por eso... Ah, pero es negativo. Es, esa es, esa es la, 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 la... ¿Cómo es que se llama? Es la, la positiva, la que es afirmativa. ¿Cuál? Esa es, he was a kind. Te digo, porque él no fue amable. Pero no, va es negativa siempre, porque es negativo el was. Pero está firmando el, el, el ¿cómo que se llama? Bueno, pongámoslo como, como, como motivo. Como creamos. No creo que así, como que está vale. diciendo algo, como que en realidad sí. algo. 
Él no fue amable. Mm. Dice de ahí, my apologies for that and what about our... Él, él no fue amable. Él no fue amable. He wasn't kind. Yeah. Ajá, yo, yo creo que... La gente no fue amable con Eva. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, está bien. Pero Carla, eh, no sé si la pregunta es porque no estamos usando el auxiliar Diden. No, lo que pasa es que yo le entiendo que él sí fue amable. Ah, no, permítame. Ajá, sí, es que está negativo, está negativo. Tiene razón, no había visto el WhatsApp. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, pues no, no, no olvidar. <risa> ok, entonces... Mm. La última era. And they said, it wasn't sweet. Easy, easy. Pero, Esto que compró, si sí lo volvería a utilizar, dice. Si sí lo utilizaría, porque del producto no se queja. Solo se queja del primer agente que, que ella contactó. Aunque esa parte donde dice, yes, I could, it wasn't too easy. No la entiendo. Según mi, mi traducción. Explain. Explain everything. To me. Va, ahí queda ahí, allá, entonces. Yo digo okay. que ahí. Pero salieron, al final salieron más positivos que negativos. Al final, sí, por la primer, sí. las primeras, la mayoría son. Sí, 1, 2, 3, 4 negativa, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positiva. Did, 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 Vale, voy a mencionar yo. Did. Yo la <coughs> estoy marcando ahorita. She was king. Es una. Eh. Es del tip. Hello, hello. Everybody. Hi. De la siguiente sería was considered. He, es el cabana, exacto. He was considered. Y la última. His, his name was Romeo. Um, he explained everything to me. Ok. To me. A veces serían did. Sí, la, 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 la afirmativa. Didn't sería. Because the again didn't give me a confirmation number. Está ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. ok. Yo la marqué. Ya. Yeah. 
Me dice la otra. He didn't even send a receipt to what I bought. Ok, ahí la marqué también. Y la tercera es, I think he didn't say his name. I think he didn't say his name, ¿verdad? Say his name. De ahí uh -huh. la última, it wasn't so easy. ¿Y es dónde está? Es la última. Ahí la vi. It wasn't so easy. Ajá. Ahí está. Yo digo que ahí va. Incomplete sí. Incomplete the second part in, in the describe uh, the action we did and didn't. Mm -hmm. Let me check them. Check. Melissa, hello. How are you? She come back. Hello, Maria. <laughs> Ya volví. No doy ¿Qué What about your help? Pues ya ahorita ya estoy siguiendo un poquito mejor. Gracias a Dios. Oh, qué bien. Me alegro mucho que esté mejor, compañera. Ah, Muchas va. gracias. Que como venía en el bus no podía este, hablar mucho. Aquí hay mucha interferencia. Sí, me imagino. Pero qué bueno verla bien de nuevo, compañero. Ah, muchas gracias, compañero. Good. Glad to see you again. <laughs> Did you finish? No, Did you teacher. practice the conversation? No, teacher. Really, you didn't finish? I... Uh, 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 me acabo de conectar... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in my computer, uh, but uh, terrible. Uh, yes, uh, I have uh, I have had a problem with my computer, and I don't remember my your my password. password. <laughs> <laughs> that is more common than what you think. I have. Thousands of password, password for this, password for that, pin for this, pin for that, and I always forget. Había notado mal el password. <laughs> My coworkers always say, write down, write down your password, write down your new password for this account, for this account, for all the accounts, for this email address, for that email address. And I sometimes do it, but then when I try to enter in another computer, Maybe the keyboard is in English or is in Spanish. So one symbol that is not recognized, the whole password is thrown mm -hmm. away. So it's hard, I know. <laughs> uh, I believe it was difficult. Okay, the first activity was to practice a conversation, right? And some people already practice the conversation, which is good. Then the next activity was Mm -hmm. to write the activities that happened and the activities that didn't happen. So affirmative and negative activities or sentences in past, right? Indeed, what do you have? Activities that happened, activities that did happen. Which ones? Teacher. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> he did. She did call another agent. She called another agent. Okay. En affirmative tienen que ser los verbos en pasado, en la forma pasada. No ah. podemos auxiliarnos del auxiliary. El auxiliary solo nos sirve para el negative. Okay. Okay. She called another agent. Mm -hmm. Well, she had a bad experience. That's one sentence as well. Uh-huh. That's why she called another agent. So at first, right? She could use the product. Uh-huh. 
She called another agent. Okay. That's what Mary said. And didn't? The agent didn't give a confirmation number. Uh -huh. la, idea, la idea la tenía, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Por lo menos eso algo, ¿no? <laughs> And the agent didn't send her a receipt, right? Didn't send the receipt. All right. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más podrían decir? Didn't, didn't send, teacher. Uh -huh. Didn't send. S E N D. Send. Because the pass of send is sent with the T. Uh -huh. Didn't send a receipt or didn't send a receipt, right? All right. Attendance time. For the second time. <laughs> Balmore, no idea what happens to Balmore. Carlos, present, present. Aquí estaba yo no lo había puesto. <laughs> si sí, yo dije que es raro porque no está contestando. Carlos, present, teacher. César, I'm here. Claudia, present. All right, Daniel. Daniel? Present teacher. Hi. Present. I started teniendo difficulties, Daniel. Lo vi ahí con dos accounts. Yes. I, the I signal. can reconnect. Okay, you couldn't connect. All right. Edwin, Alexis? No. Emerson? Eric? Imer? Present. Jacobo? Present teacher. Jocelyn? Jocelyn? Not here. Jorge? Oh, here, teacher. Present. All right. Julio? Present. Carla? Present. Lailin? Present. Mary? Present. Mario? Present. Lisa? Present teacher. Sergio. Present teacher. Wilfred. Present. Good. Nice. What happened to this student, to these participants? Let me see. Okay. For a better reference, los que están siguiendo obviamente su sus clases y que están tomando apuntes en su manual. Es this one, right? This lesson on page 31. It's this page that we have been studying. Okay, which process someone provided or not to. A customer brainstorm about the instructions that most of the times you give. Did you ever forget about one of them? Okay, so this is, this is the conversation. Y este es el exercise que acabamos de realizar también. Ok. Acá tienen ya su chart que explica the pass of B and the simple pass con cualquier otro verbo, pero de forma negativa. The pass of B en forma negativa también ya lo habíamos repasado al inicio cuando hicimos el exercise de affirmative, negative and interrogative, right? Y the simple past con cualquier otro action verb, también estuvimos escribiendo oraciones usando didn't y cosas que no habíamos hecho este día con cualquier otro action verb, right? So I think the negative form no es el challenge. El challenge es aprenderse los verbos en para poder hablar de forma afirmativa, para decir hice esto, fui allá, compré, comí, right? So, the challenge definitely is to know about the verbs. Okay. We're going to make a small pause, vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa, y when we come back, 
Vamos a hacer un repaso también de los verbs in past, ¿ok? Regular and irregular. Because sometimes we only say, oh, no, regular verbs are easy, porque solo pongo ed. But the idea is that we know both, regular and irregular. Yes? Yes. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay. Two minutes, two minutes to drink water only. <laughs> water, okay? Excuse me? <laughs> Water.
All right. Are we ready? Yes. All right, good. Maybe. Good, good, good. Maybe. <laughs> How maybe? <laughs> I suppose, suppose I suppose I, I am ready for this moment. Okay. Well, I'm going to create new groups and I'm going to send the link. Voy a enviar un link y quiero que practiquen con esa página, okay? So, I'm going to make new groups. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you go. El link igual se lo voy a convertir en WhatsApp so that you can access to the link and practice the irregular. Primero vamos a practicar irregulars. When we come back to the main session, we're going to practice the regular words, all right? You can you can watch my screen. Ah. Va. Acabo de entrar. Voy a ver si si pongo proyecto pantalla. Okay. Voy a tirar la pantalla ahorita. Bueno, ¿Qué es lo que vamos a buscar en este link? <risa> ah, aquí está. Ok. No sé por qué es pequeño la página. Elige el verbo. Más de ver. ¿Qué vamos a hacer aquí? Ahí hay que. Draw. 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 Go. When. When. Perfect. Fall. Go. Take. Take. See. Go. Go. Drink. Drunk. Drunk. Forget. Got. Eat. Ate. Eat. The each. Uh huh. Up. Sería como. Este. Uh -huh. Sí. Este sería con este. Sí. Drink. Con drum. Drum. Uh huh. Do the the top. 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 Oh, 
¿Cuál? Boat. Después de Stuck. Ya está. Ah, no, no, Boat, ¿con Boat. cuál? Boat. Es... La última. Es... Or forget is for God. For God. Mm -hmm. For it. For God. Finish. Finish. Congratulations. Ready. Yes. Ready. Okay. Yeah. What grade did you get on the practice? ¿Cuánto sacaron? Ten. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> Good. We are gringos America. Uh, I see. <laughs> Native Americans. <laughs> uh, All yeah. right. Nice. I like it. Bye. Vamos a hacer este, que es la clasificación de cómo se pronuncian los verbos regulares en pasado. Obviamente, a todos se le agrega the, ed, or i, e, d, or double the consonant antes de agregar la ed. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. ¿A cuál nada más se le agregaría una d? A los que ya terminan en una e. For example, you say Close. dance, dance, right? Close. Invited, close. Uh -huh. Invite, like, like, like. and like. But ahí, como ya termina like. en una e, solo agrego la d. ¿Ya? Yeah? Like. Y a la hora de pronunciarlo, eso sí, se pronuncia de forma diferente. Ya lo vamos a ver. Dance. Danced, close, close, by, invited, light, light. Ok. ¿Cuáles creen ustedes que se le agregaría a I y D? Study. Study. Very. Ajá. Try. Try. Carry. Play. 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 Mm. Try, no, try, 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 try
Va, ¿Cuál es la regla para agregar I y D? Sí que termine en Y, que termine en una Y, pero que una esté consonante. precedido de una consonante. Exacto. Yes. El caso de play no se podría porque play es la parte de otra vocal. Entonces no podría tener tantas vocales juntas, right? Consonante. Okay. Yes, it has to, sí, tiene que ser una Y, pero antes de la Y tiene que haber una consonante. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. ¿Cuáles creen que se dobla la última consonante antes de agregar el ID? Stop. 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 Keep. Drop. Drop. And, and shop. And shop. ¿Qué otro? And sky. Skip. 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 ¿Cuál es la regla? La regla es que sea una sola sílaba con una secuencia de consonant, vowel, consonant. O sea que las últimas tres tienen que ser consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, y una sola sílaba. Se pronuncia así un solo. Stop, shop, drop, skip. Entonces, antes de agregar la ed, le tengo que duplicar la última Generalmente estas están como en double P. ¿Yes? Ok. Y las demás que terminan en cualquier otra consona, solo agrego ID. En el caso de look, diría lot, lay, laid, jump, jump, jumped, and, and talk, talk, talk. Right? Así, estos verbos son regular. Que se dice, ah, solo pongo ED. Sí, hay que tener como unos pequeños cuidados, ¿verdad? Si ya termina en E, pues no voy a agregar otra E, solo pongo la D. Si termina en Y, precedida de una consonante, pues la Y se cambia a ID. Y si es una sola sílaba y tiene la secuencia de consonante vocal consonant, pues duplico la última consonante. ¿Ok? Vale. This is just to practice, okay? To practice the past tense of the regular verb. All right. One second. Let me stop this. And now, let's ask yes, no questions with the simple past. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Va, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Ordenar. ¿Con qué inicio esta cuestión? We did. We did. did. Okay. You. Did you. Did you. Did you. See, did you, you, you see, see you. Your. Your friends. Friends. Last night. Last night. Yes. Se fijan, deal, auxiliary, luego subject, luego verb. Uh -huh. Did you did you go? Did you go? Uh, shopping. Aquí vamos a poner grocery. Grocery. grocery shopping. shopping last weekend. Last weekend. Yes. Did you go? What grocery? is grocery? Cosas del hogar, sugar, milk, yogurt, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. abarrote de cima, ¿verdad? I mean, uh, did you watch? Did, watch did you watch, watch a movie last night? Ok. Did you watch a movie last night? Last night, all right. Done. Mm -hmm. Did you, did you stay, stay home stay yesterday? Okay, nice. Nice. Uh -huh. And the last one. Did, did you, you did, make, did you make dinner on, on Thursday? Dinner on Thursday, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. 
the last. Ah, uh, yes, one more. <laughs> Did, you have... Did you have a party last Saturday? A party. All right. Done. Ooh. Excellent. Okay, so that's how you ask interrogative questions with did, right? Se fijaron, lo único que da reto son las afirmativas. Luego, negative in questions is easy porque el did prácticamente hace todo, right? So, one second, please. Just need to confirm something right here. Oh, yes. Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> we were on this page. I forgot where it was. All right here. Okay. We did this already. Okay. Say example of process that customer service team is in charge of handling. Eso es como mencionar los procesos de que un agente de servicio al cliente está a cargo. A company process, gather information, customer assistance, keep on track. This is some vocabulary that we have. Actions they do. Okay, collect details, helping, and follow a sequence. So this is practically the vocabulary that we are studying, right? ¿Cuáles serían las fases para solving a problem or solving a situation? En caso, right, de que nosotros estuviéramos trabajando en un área de customer service, ¿ok? Describe which steps have to be followed due to customer's problems. En caso de que un customer esté hablando por una situación... Phase one sería listen to customer, el escuchar al customer, right? Phase two, la fase dos, acknowledge the customer's pain, como asegurarnos de que estamos entendiendo, captando la idea porque el, el customer está molesto, está insatisfecho. Offer alternative or solutions, solutions. sorry. And execute the follow-up. Y dar seguimiento a que si se resuelva la situación. Right? So that would be like the phases, right? Now describe which steps have to be followed due to the customer's problem. Okay. So erroneous products. Faulty product. Bad quality of customer service. And other issues. Okay? So usually, ¿cuáles serían los pasos a seguir. Imagínense que hay un erróneo prueba, que alguien solicitó, qué sé yo, uh, a computer con ciertas especificaciones, pero le llegó otra computer con otras especificaciones, like what could be different type of memory, different type of processor, a different Another one, right? So a different computer. So that would be an erroneous product. ¿Cuáles serían los pasos a seguir? According to this. First, you will have to listen to the customers complaining about the product, right? Okay, saying that it's not correct, it's not the correct product, it's not the right product that I order or that I pay for, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then acknowledge the customer's pain. That would be, okay, uh, I understand you're saying that the computer you received was this, with this specification, with these characteristics, blah, blah, blah. And to make sure that the customer feels that you understand what he or she explains to you, right? Then the, the phase three would be offer a solution or an alternative, right? So then you would say, all right, so I apologize for the inconvenience. We are going to send you the computer that you really ordered, the computer that you paid for on this and this and this time. Are you available to receive or to um, 
get the delivery products or anything, right? So that would be like the alternative. And of course, the last one would be execute and follow up. So execute means, okay, uh, this is Mr. Martinez. Okay, right now we are sending you the product to compensate or the product exchange for the uh, for the right product and, and so on and so forth, right? So that would be like the process, okay? So these are some other situations like faulty product when the product is damaged or it's broken. So bad quality of the customer service. So you are complaining about the, the agent's way of attending the customer and other issues, okay? So those would be some examples. You give me your name. Your name. Uh -huh. Then describe which steps have to be followed due to a customer's problems. Como los ejemplos a seguir, okay? Good morning, I'm, y se presenta, ¿verdad? Good morning, I'm Miss Martinez, I'm Mr. Ramirez, whatever. From the name of the company, right? From... I'm speaking. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm speaking to, and you say the name of the person that you think you are talking to. Good morning, yes, he's, she's speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. So this is about a satisfaction survey or about a satisfaction right. company. No sé si les ha pasado con las companies de generalmente de teléfono que le llaman para saber o le mandan una, un survey al su correo para ver la, el nivel de satisfacción que usted tiene con el servicio, right? So this is something similar. Okay, the product is fine, but I want to complain or I want to mention that this, this, and this happened, right? So you are a company's agent and are calling all customers to check that everything was explained or provided to them. You are a customer, so you tell the agent how your level of satisfaction is in everything that you didn't do. Bye. En esta activity tienen que crear como, este es el template, digamos, este es el el pattern a seguir y crear una conversación en el que uno de ustedes será el agent que está llamando para el nivel para como evaluar el nivel de satisfaction de un customer y la otra persona tiene que hacer el rol de un customer y explicar verdad que su nivel de satisfacción que si es es okay or it's not good because of this this and this okay veamos hopefully we can do it on the same groups, but I'm not quite sure. All right, here we go. mandó la, la conversación de ya lo publico ya yes, please lo pueden ver verdad yes bueno, prácticamente solo te vas a ir agregando de um, el nombre de nosotros y no sé si le vamos a agregar algo más Con, porque al principio dice good morning I am, y ahí le agregamos nombre Alex un ejemplo Ajá. y de ahí seguimos from digamos la compañía claro <ríe> No sé qué ponemos. ¿Sí? La queja. Ah, no, en este caso el, este sería el agent. Te quedas aquí como el, el agente. Sí, 
Okay. Okay. Good evening. Ayan. Ako. Ako from... Jacob Gomez. Gomez. Eh, Jacob from... From... from uh, I'm going to put it as... Tect... Tect... So, I'm going to put it as... Tect Company. Bate Company. Ese sería el, el nombre. Algo así como la que está allá en San Salvador por la plaza. La, no me acuerdo cómo es que se llama, pero algo así. Tech, um, que es de electrónica. La que está aquí pan? es la ABX. Entonces, no le pongamos así, hagámoslo más. ABX. A Ajá, ABX Company. Ey, que no era la que mencionaba Mr. Machuca. Sí, ABX es, es la que está aquí en el país, es la única que hace el, el chic, porque la estaba Texas Instrument, pero se fue del país porque le robaban el oro cuando hacían los microchips. O hacemos una cada uno. Bueno, sí, cualquiera que haga el, el A. Okay. Vaya, Carlos, que sea. Bueno. Ok. Entonces, sería Good morning. I am Carlos from, eh, from Banco Agrícola. <risa> no va a hacer publicidad. No, pues sí. <risa> Banco Agrícola. Okay. Dar el nombre. Ok. Vale, pero eh, como va a preguntar sobre un producto. Sí, por eso, una tarjeta de crédito. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Sí, ponemos ejemplo una tarjeta de crédito. Ok, ok. Credit, credit, credit. ¿Cómo es? Es very low. No sé, sí, quiero ver. ¿Qué otro problema podría tener? El refrigerero is not present. Quiero ver qué otro problema puede tener. Present. Así se dice congelado. Congelar. Sí. Sí. It's not present. F R I I Z I N G. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero se tiene que armar la conversación o solo no, solo, yo creo que la última parte, solo la explicación. Ah, ya, ya. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ah, ya puede ser A o B. Donde dice, you are company, and in our calling, or customer to check the evidence was spraying. ¿Cuál le gustaría hacer a usted? O sea, tenemos que hacer las dos últimas. Uh -huh. Cualquiera y es cualquiera. You are customer, so to freeze. Freeze. And. Podría ser solo eso, ¿va? como que el, el congelamiento, por decirlo así, del refrigerador es, es bajo, es como de baja, bajo nivel o baja categoría, creo. Sí, que, ajá, sí, que no, no es de buena calidad. Ajá. No, 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 es la, no está hablando bien. Eh... I am uh, I am Balmore uh, from Claro Company. I am speaking to Maria. Maria. I'm speaking, speaking to that. acerca del producto. Vas a hablar ahí acerca del, del, de lo que te compré ah, 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 como cliente. Sería, Ajá. Eso es lo que me vas a preguntar. Entonces sería eh, sería como como el paquete 
<laughs> sería eh, services. internet package ¿Ah? internet service algo así verdad va internet service, service. Uh -huh. Okay. Good morning. Yes. No, espérate. Yes, she's speaking. Okay. Ella está hablando. Ajá. No, Ella está hablando. Yo, ay, yo te tengo que ah, pues decir sí, tu nombre. Por el... Ya ve, ya ve. Ajá. Te iba a decir. Sí, verdad. I am speaking ajá. to María. <risa> y tú, usted me va a decir. Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. Yes, she's speaking. <risa> Otra vez, otra vez. Sería, give, give, get, get. ¿Ah? Give, give without, give without sería, ¿verdad? Give. Uh -huh. Give, get. Híjole, eso give, sí sería, no, sería más. God, sería God en pasado, sería God. Ajá, ajá, eso es lo que le digo, ajá. God, sería como? God, G-O-T, G-O-T. G-O. Ok. Okay. Si alguien lo puede escribir ahí porque no, no entendí dónde va eso. Eh, en, en, vez de, en vez de donde dice boat, que Ajá. donde dice boat with us, ahí sería el, go. el obtener. O sea, obtener go. go. ¿Cómo se escribe? G O, G -O T. G -O -T. Got. You got with us. With you. You got with us. With you. Okay, okay. I come. Okay, the plug okay. is fine, but. Okay, the credit. Uh, ahí le vamos como le cambiamos, ¿verdad? Ajá, pongo credit también aquí, ¿verdad? Credit okay, is fine. Um, pero, ¿qué le puedo poner? Pero el tiempo es muy largo, tal vez. O sea, que es muy, por muy, muy extendido el, 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 el tiempo play. para... Time. Great. The product el, is... Credit is No sé. Ah, ok. The, the credit is... Is case. Is great. great. O le dejamos fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. Ok, bueno, entonces, ok, the, eh, ok, the credit is fine, it's fine. But, 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 but the interest, uh, so much, como diríamos, son muchos, pero los intereses son muchos. Elevado. <laughs> ah, sí, sí, podría ser, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, the eh, product is fine, but. Acordémonos de many. Many sería. Era many. ¿Cuál era el otro? Many, many, many. Many es para. Para popular. Para uno era many para singular y más para. Quiero ver. Ah, ya no vamos a salir.
All right, did you finish the conversation? Yes, no. Yes, we did. Yes, yes we did. All right. Los que no terminaron aún no se preocupen. Don't worry. Tienen para mañana darle los últimos retoques y al inicio de la clase todos van a decir su conversation de agent y customer, preguntando por el satisfaction de algún product, ¿ok? okay so, no problem. Ya voy a guardar aquí quienes estaban en cada grupo so that I can remember. Ok. <ríe> Veamos. Yes. Ay. Tired. Mm. <ríe> Hoy me dijeron algo de entre más grande es el suspiro. <ríe> la cara de aco. La ticha. Más lo de la tal edad, dicen. <ríe> Ah, vaya, me da tan malo después de todo. Ok, let's see. Vamos a hacer el recorte. Uh -huh. oh my God. Dame un segundito. I need to put this somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. <coughs> ah, bueno, aquí lo podemos poner. Right. Let's see what else. Mm -hmm. I got some. Okay. okay. Wait a second. Right, stand ready for the attendance. Okay. Yes, yes teacher. I am ready. I'm ready. <laughs> attendance. All right, do you hear my dog? She's sleeping like crazy. Good morning. Present. Carlos. Cesar. Present. Here. Claudia. Daniel, Edwin, present, Claudia. All right, Edwin, no, verdad, Emerson. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> Eric, Marino, Emer, Paco. Present, teacher. Okay, Jocelyn. Bueno, al final no se conectó Jocelyn. Jorge. Julio. Sure. Yes. Present. Carla. Present. <laughs> Lailin. Present. Mary. Present. Mario. Melissa. Sergio. Present. Fred. Present. Bye. ¿Quién nos acompañó ayer? Yo sé, mi teacher. Carla. Carla. Uh -huh. Yes. Lailin, it's your turn. <risa> la única que se emociona bueno y le vamos a dar unos dos puntos al final <risa> ah verdad que fue de happiness face <risa> Vaya. I cannot partners <risa> ay tisañosa Ok, see you tomorrow. I stay with lightning. <laughs> Bye. I hate. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. <laughs> La traición. <laughs> okay, Laili, tell me, where are you from? I'm fine, teacher. All right, where are you from? Oh, uh, I'm from Lourdes. Oh, really? Where do you work? In the company Litmar Americas. And what do you do in the company? Um, I 
I do uh, reports. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so you are an assistant. Yes. All right. In what area? Um, in office. A enter of plant. Mm -hmm. And what does the company produce? What? What does the company produce? Um, drinks. Really? Yes. Like juice? Yes. Like mm -hmm. juice, sodas, and right. caterers. So the, the company is in Lourdes and they have the production plant there in Lourdes. Um, so, 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 Nice. All right. And what's your schedule like? ¿Cómo es horario? What time do you start working? What time do you finish? I start at 8 o'clock. And I finish at five o'clock, but <laughs> <laughs> but I work one or more. Why? Or more. Um, extra hours. <laughs> really? Um, you have to work extra. Yes, at work, but we mm -hmm. have. Um, a lot of work. A lot of work, yeah. A lot of work. And so the company produces drinks and they distribute the drinks here in the country or they export? Uh, between? Both. Uh -huh, both. Okay, so yes. they, can, they sell locally and they also export the products. Um, ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Lo venden tanto local como también de exportación. Yes. All right, nice. What's the name of the company? Repeat. Litmar Americas. Litmar America. I never heard of this company before. Mm. This is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. más conocida como Juice Petit. Ah, and no, I Pepsi. Know. Uh, but the commercial company. The commercial name of the company is Lit Max America. Yes. Because ah, I had a, I think it's the husband of one of my cousins who works there, used to work there. I don't know if he is still works there. Yeah, he's an industrial engineer, so he used to work there, but they have the company also in, like going to, to get something. Mm, no, it's going to Sonsonate. Going to Sonsonate, uh, like mm -hmm. by Ateos. Yes. Ah, I know where that is because my cousin lives there. She lives, I mean, you enter by Ateos, but she lives in uh, near Hayaki, I think. Mm -hmm. My boss is from. Hayaki. Yeah, they say Hayaki is beautiful. It's a beautiful town. All right, Lailin, do you study or do you do anything else? Like the, or what career do you study? Mm. Or you only study English? Como por qué? No, like if you have, I mean, did you go to university? Or did you study high school? Or, oh. Yes? Mm, yet not. But the next year? Next year? Uh -huh. You want to study next a career year. at the university? Yes. What career? Uh, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. <laughs> <laughs> Pero es <laughs> licenciatura en química y farmacia. Really? Mm -hmm. Chemistry. You want to study um, chemistry at the university. I thought you wanted to study something like business administration or accounting. Um, I don't like. Really? 
So you want to be a chemist or a pharmacist. Yes. Interesting. And you finished high school this year or last year? No. Um, you were age four years. Four years ago. Yes, four years ago. So you ago. graduated from high school four years ago. Uh -huh. And why did you decide to study English? Mm. No, no lo entendí. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? ¿Por qué decidió? Why did you decide um, to study English? Because it's important in design, but better jobs. Uh -huh. And the carrots and the university for the career at the university mm -hmm. yes good good answer actually también manos español hay algo que quiera que le ayude o con algo que, que quiera que le ayude de algo que no haya entendido mm, no por ahora no la verdad everything is understandable Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. Algo sí. que me quiera comentar cómo se ha sentido. Cansada. <laughs> no, en la clase. <laughs> um, no, pues la verdad, súper bien, porque me gusta cómo da las clases ustedes, como interactivo, eh, participamos entre todos y... También pues he aprendido algunas cosas que, o he recordado algunas cosas que ya sabía. Entonces, y usted es muy paciente también. <laughs> ok, so remember, practice, practice the conversation for tomorrow. Ok, yes. thank you, Lailin. Yo creo que eso sería, a menos que usted quiera agregar algo más. Mm, no, todo bien. Ok, perfecto. Good night, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Gracias, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.